All right, so check it out. We all want a nice physique. We all want to have that presence, right? A huge part of that is the shoulders, all right? It gives you a V taper because it makes you wider up top, narrow down at the waist. It's impressive when you put on your shirts. You don't have to get all dressed up all the time. You could just throw on something simple like a nice t-shirt. When you have well-developed delts, everything is dressy. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to Good Life because they hooked me up. When y'all always ask me about the shirts that I wear, those white shirts, those basic shirts, it's Good Life. It's not a regular white t-shirt. It's Good Life. The material is different. It lays on the body perfect. So shout out to Good Life. They keep me fly. My shorts, everything I'm rocking today is Good Life. But anyway, you don't want to have to get, men, we're not supposed to get all dressed up and fancy. We have nice accessories, but we keep our bodies sharp and our mind intact, right? So uh, that's that's the cheat code, all right? So anyway, I want to talk about uh, how to build shoulders properly. And there's so many things that you have to do with shoulders, but I'm gonna give you five barbell exercises that's vital. And I'm a big fan of the barbell because you can load so much weight on it, right? And you need as much weight as possible to, you know, as you're getting stronger to cause more trauma to the muscle so it grows back bigger, stronger, more powerful, and more shapely how you want it, all right? So I'm gonna stop talking right now but, but and get into this movement. But before I do, I am so excited to announce that we have just launched our first pre-workout. It's called Kinetic. And right now, it's exclusive at Vitamin Shop, all right? Links down below. Y'all can find Vitamin Shop in every city, all right? Listen, Kinetic is special. This is one of, one of a kind. No one has done this yet, what we've done. This is powered by mushroom technology, all right? We have multiple sources of mushrooms to really activate this pre-workout. I'm talking about the power you feel is, is unreal. The, the mental focus is unreal. Not just the focus, but the mental stamina. People don't realize how important mental, having that mental wherewithal to keep pushing through things. Uh, mental stamina is big. You have that, the energy, ferocious, all right? so. It tastes, you know how we do with flavors. For, for you, those of you have, that taste at mental jewels or nectar or planta, you know we kill it with flavors. So don't expect nothing less than incredible flavor with this right here, all right? So Vitamin Shop, shout out to Vitamin Shop. Um, they're carrying it right now. I want you to get your hands on this because once this video go live, we're gonna sell out in like the first day. Big facts, all right? So get this and go and kill it in the gym. All right, now straight to the workout. All right, so the first movement we're going to go over is a barbell shoulder press. This will be the primary. Typically, if it's not this, it's going to be dumbbells. But since we're speaking barbells today, this is the primary. So this is what we do first. So um, similar to the bench press, you just want to get your proper hand placement. All right. And it's a reason why I like to do these standing. Standing, you develop a very strong core. You're working stabilizer muscles. You're actually training your whole body while standing there with that heavy load, keeping your body stable. All right, so, and it's harder. You have no leverage. Like when you're sitting down, you got a lot of leverage. So when you do hang out with your boys that do their presses sitting, you're gonna smash them. It's gonna be so easy. But anyway, we always choose the harder route because you get more results out of that, all right? So this is a strict press. So you wanna keep your legs straight, no bending your knees, no using your knees to force the, the weight up, all right? So you see what my bar position is? It's right beneath my chin at the bottom of my neck, right above my chest. All right, strict press all the way up. Lock it out, right back down. Really, y'all don't know this, y'all in danger, I'm a threat. I'm a threat. Gamble with your life, cause you know that it's a threat. It's a threat. You know I ain't letting up, my foot is on your neck. Yeah, take my word for it, it's a promise and a threat. This is so important, the standing barbell shoulder press. Barbell because you can load a, a, a maximum amount of weight, cause the most trauma to the muscle. The more trauma you cause to the muscle, it breaks down and grows back stronger, bigger, tighter, more powerful for the next time you have to do that. All right, so barbell standing barbell shoulder uh, press is a must have for round capped powerful delts. Let's go. All right, so uh, the next movement is going to be a behind the head standing barbell shoulder press or overhead press. Some people have the notion that that's bad for your shoulders, but on the contrary, it's quite good for your shoulders. What it does is it trains your shoulders just like a front 
I mean, a, a, a press in front of your head. What it does is it increases shoulder mobility and stability, all right? So this, like, when I would go to my doctor, my chiropractor, he would have me doing the same exact movement, right, for stretches. And I'm telling you, it works, it helps. So when I'm doing my shoulder press behind the head, sometimes I do it just for a stretch. It's excellent. So nothing wrong with getting strong at it as well. All right, so give it a try, but I'll show you how it goes. Now, when you put it behind your head, don't do a full press. You don't want to burn yourself out. So just slightly get over, over your head. There we go. And then press. I feel a nice stretch as it comes down. It feels great. And that's it, it's that easy. On to the next. All right, so this one is called the push press. It looks like you're cheating, but you're not. What you're doing here, this is typically something that I would not lead off with, okay? I would put this after heavy presses or something like that. So you're gonna be generating force from the, from the ground, kinetic force from the ground, through your feet, your knees, hips, all the way up through to the bar and it allows you to increase intensity. This is a good tactic for intensity, but to burn out, but also to overload the weight. You could do a lot more weight when you're pushing through your knees, okay? Now, what is, this is very important, an uh, important distinction. When you're doing a strict press, you are not to generate, even that little bit right there is giving you a lot of torque, a lot of power, all right? You wanna be honest about it, so, with yourself. So you want to be nice and stiff when you're getting those strict presses. Now, when you get to, when it's time for you to do a push press, you can get a little bit of, a little bit of work. Even me, I'm so locked in on being strict and trying to be as strong as possible. I barely get any inertia or any uh, force with my knees when I'm doing a strict press, but I'll, you know, once in the blue, I will go there and get a little bit of assistance. So y'all can give it a try. I'm gonna do a few right now. Let's do it. Well, that's a push press or cheating, cheat press, whatever you want to call it. On to the next. All right, so the next movement with the barbell for your shoulders is the shoulder shrug, the barbell shrug. A lot of different ways you can do it, but the way that's going to pack on the most amount of muscle is with the barbell because you can load the most amount of weight. All right, so I prefer to do this without any hand wraps. You can do that, but I like to have as powerful as grip strength as I can get. That's why I never use straps, all right? Now, typically I would take my shirt off so you can see my traps on this movement, but man, the drip is fly. Shout out to my people, good life, they keep me fly. My shorts, my shirts, all the shirts y'all always see me wearing all the time, the white ones, is from good life. You can see it looks good, like I can dress it up or I can wear it in the gym. So I decided, you know, I'm gonna wear it in the gym to show y'all the versatility of it and the quality of it, you wash it, Dry it, it looks brand new still. I love this brand. Shout out to uh, Good Life. But anyway, even with, oh, and a shirt like this, it just lays on the muscles right. So when you got a little bit of size on you, it just complements it well. So you're gonna see that on this movement. You should be able to see my traps through the shirt doing this properly. So, all right, here we go. Um, basically, it's very simple, a shrug. You just pick it up and you say, I don't know. What does that mean, Mike? I don't know. I don't know. That's all we're doing. I know that was corny, but y'all fuck with me. Back nice and straight, chest up. Now, I like to pause at the top. All right, so sometimes I'll pause for about 10 to 15 reps, and then after that, I'll try to burn out with just going fast, just rapid, all right? But you gotta start out getting pauses, holding it, squeezing the blood into those, those areas, all right? So that's simple, that's the shoulder shrug. On to one more, one more move, let's go. 
All right, so last but not least, we're gonna go into barbell upright rows, all right? Now, this is good for your overall shoulder, shoulder cap, but also your traps. It really trains your traps. If you pay attention to my traps when I'm doing this movement, you'll see it, all right? Now, there's different ways that you can do this with the barbell. You could do a narrow, a really close grip. You could do a neutral grip, grip and you could do a wide grip, all right? I'll pick a somewhat neutral grip today, okay? Uh, big chest, back straight, and just row. You want to keep it as close to your body as possible, all right? Here we go. Elbows nice and high. We like to call that easy money, baby. That's it, halas, we out of here.